Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear brothers and sisters who are watching Wilaya TV. Today, we're going to listen to a recitation by Sheikh Muhammad Siddiq al Minshawi, verses 7 to 12 of Surah Yusuf. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Let's talk about Sheikh Minshawi first. Sheikh Minshawi was a great Egyptian reciter. He's very famous all around the world, and for good reason. His voice was spectacular. His voice was wonderful. Okay, we could talk about his voice all day. He had a God-given voice that cannot be repeated ever again in history. His voice had a specific kind of sorrow, which is called khashya in Arabic. Khashya means that uh, when you're reciting the Quran, you have a fear of Allah. You have fear for Allah. And at the same time, it is out of respect, okay? And it's called khashya. We see this in the voice of Sheikh Muhammad Siddiq al Minshawi. This is what makes him famous. This great reciter was born in 1922 in the city of Minshah. That is why he's called Minshawi, because he was born in Minshah. And his family were all, uh, you know, Quranic people. They were reciters of the Qur'an. They were hufal, those who had memorized the whole Qur'an. His father was a reciter. His brother was a reciter. His uncle was a reciter. And, you know, this was a, he was born into a Qur'anic family. What's interesting about Sheikh Muhammad Siddiq al-Minshawi is that uh, the way that he entered the Egyptian radio, he wasn't tested by... Uh, the group of experts who test reciters before they're admitted to the radio. They said, no, you could just uh, enter the radio without being tested. But he, he kept on refusing their request. He turned down their request all the time. And eventually, what the radio would do was that they would take their crew to the place where Sheikh Minshawi was reciting the Quran. And in that way, they, they would uh, record his recitations. Eventually, one of the friends of Sheikh Minshawi convinced him that if you go to the radio, it's a lot better, and it's not in your interest if you don't go to the radio. And therefore, he accepted uh, the radio's request, and uh, he entered the Egyptian radio. Sheikh Minshawi recorded many compilations of the Qur'an, he recited the whole Qur'an in both the Murattal style and also Mujawad style in uh, the reading of Hafs and Asim and of course other Qira'as as well. And uh, this great reciter passed away in 1969 at a very young age because, you know, a 47-year-old person is, is too soon for someone to die at such a young age. Apparently, he contracted a disease of the esophagus, and this sidelined him from reciting the Qur'an. Of course, uh, the doctor said that you shouldn't recite the Qur'an, but he insisted on reciting the Qur'an, and he passed away in 1969 at the age of 47. May Allah bless him and reward him. <laughs>
صدق الله العلي العظيم. Okay, uh, these verses are about the story of Prophet Yusuf or Joseph. It's called أحسن القصص. The story of Prophet Yusuf in the Quran is called Ahsan al Qasas, the best of stories. The first verse that Shaykh Minshawi recites is this Indeed, in the story of Yusuf, there are certainly signs for those who seek questions, who want questions, who ask different questions about life, just, you know, generally speaking about various aspects of life. You could uh, learn many things just by reading and uh, drawing lessons from the story of Prophet Yusuf. Uh, then we have uh, how, you know, the brothers of Prophet Yusuf. Prophet Yaqub, the father of Prophet Yusuf, had 12 sons. And he loved Yusuf the most because uh, in some narrations it's been said that he saw the light of prophethood in the face of Prophet Yusuf. And he loved him very much. And uh, his brothers, they were jealous of him. They said, why does our father love Yusuf more than us when we are a hardy group. Which means a hardy group. Indeed, our father is in manifest error. So what did they say? What should we do to solve this problem of ours? They said, kill Yusuf or cast him in a faraway place so that the love of our father for Yusuf leaves his heart. And then we will become a righteous group. So uh, here is when one of the brothers of Yusuf, who was uh, the eldest son of Prophet Yaqub by the name of 
Lavin or Levi in biblical tradition. His name was Levi. What did he say? He said, قَالَ قَائِلٌ مِّنْهُمْ لَا تَقُتُلُوا يُوسُفُ وَأَلْقُوهُ فِي غَيَابَةِ الْجُبِّ يَلْتَقِطْهُ بَعْضُ السَّيَّارَةِ إِن كُنْتُمْ فَاعِلِينَ Don't kill Yusuf. Throw him into some well so that a caravan could come and take him if you are going to do something. Okay? So how would they do this? How are they going to take Yusuf away from his father and throw him into a well. They went to their father and said, Oh, father, why do you not allow us to take Yusuf? Okay, we are well-wishers of Yusuf. Uh, we want to take Yusuf so that he could play and he could have some fun with us. Okay? And this is where Prophet Yaqub says, I fear that the wolf is going to eat him and uh, you are not aware while you're not aware of it. And the brothers say, okay, no, uh, we will do it. We will take care of them. We'll protect him and nothing's going to happen to him. And you know the rest of the story. Sheikh Mishawi reaches, uh, he recites until verse 12, which is, وَإِنَّا لَهُ لَحَافِظُونَ And we are his protectors. <laughs> Dear brothers and sisters, uh, we're going to listen to the recitation of Surah Yusuf, verses 7 to 12, by Shaykh Muhammad Sadiq al Minshawi today. And uh, before we go ahead and listen to this recitation, I want to talk about the way that Shaykh Minshawi recites this verse in order to convey the meaning of the verses. Shaykh Minshawi uses Maqam Bayati at the beginning and then Maqam Nahawand. Okay? Shaykh Minshawi has used all of the Maqams in his recitation. Okay, we have seven main Maqams. Of course, some say eight Maqams, but most people say that we have seven main Maqams. We have Saba, Nahawand, Ajam, Bayati, Sika, Hijaz and Rust. These are the seven main maqams. Of course, some say that we have another main maqam which is called Kurd. And in some places, Shaykh Minshawi has also used maqam al Kurd. In this recitation, he uses maqam Bayati first and then maqam Nahawand. And the part of the verse that talks about how one of the brothers of uh, Prophet Yusuf says, don't kill Yusuf, but throw him into the depths of some well so that a caravan may take him away. Here, uh, Sheikh Mishawi is using Maqam Bayati, and uh, he's using the low register of his voice for a reason, you know. When a reciter uses the low regist register of his voice or the high register of his voice, uh, there's a reason for him to doing this, you know. He wants to say, Minshawi is trying to tell the audience that the brother of Prophet Yusuf told his brothers in a low tone, don't kill Yusuf, throw him into some well instead, don't kill him. So he's not going to be shouting this in the high register, don't kill Yusuf. Throw him into some well. No. He wants to persuade them. He wants to convince them to do this. So he uses the low register of his voice. And when Shaykh Minshawi reaches verse 11 of this surah, قَالُوا يَا أَبَانَا مَالَكَ لَا تَأْمَنَّ عَلَى يُوسُفُ He changes the maqam to maqam nahawand. Okay? By changing maqamat in your recitation, you could tell people that this is a new topic. This is a new subject. This is a new scene in the story. Okay, because you know, in the previous scene, 
the brothers of Yusuf, they had gathered uh, and they were, they were trying to come up with a plan to do something to Yusuf so that their father would love them instead of Yusuf. So they were like, they were planning to throw Yusuf into the well. But now this is a new scene, okay? So they go to their father and they say, Why is it, father, why don't you uh, allow us to take Yusuf with us? Why is it that you are so, um, you know, you think that we are not good to Yusuf, that we are not his well-wishers. We are his well-wishers. Allow us to take him with ourselves and, and so that he may play with us. So he changes the maqam to maqam nahawand in the high register. Because, uh, you know, the brothers of Yusuf now, uh, they are talking to their father uh, with a high tone. They're saying, oh, father, why is it that you don't allow us to take Yusuf with us so that we may play. So Sheikh Mishawi uses the high register, the jawab of his voice in Maqam Nahawand. And you know, so uh, there are different ways that you can convey the meaning of the verses of the Quran. And a good reciter is a reciter who is, uh, you know, who is able to use different maqamat in the right places and uh, who is able to use the different registers of his voice, his intonation, the tone of his voice to convey the meaning. And Sheikh Minshawi is one of the best reciters in doing this. Now let's go ahead and listen to Surah Yusuf, verses 7 to 12, recited by Sheikh Muhammad Siddiq al Minshawi. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد كان في يوسف وإخوته
صدق الله العلي موعظة ونور فيه شفاء للصدور وشفيعنا يوم النشور آياته تروي المدى وصفاته